the John Cena apology, I now understand it. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Hidden Strike. So what is this movie about? Pretty simple premise. We are in Baghdad, Iraq. Then we have the Chinese have their own oil fields. Then we have an American, John Cena, who is a private contractor. And now someone is trying to steal the oil. Who is it? So, did I like this film? Okay, here's a little bit of history before I go into it. Apparently this movie was shelved for five years. I think it was shelved for five years because it was filmed. Sorry, I almost had a sneeze or something. It was like filmed, I think, before COVID. Then COVID happened and they didn't know what to do with the film. Also, when you watch the movie, the first 30 seconds, you realize it is like co-produced by 13 ISK Chinese companies. When you do more research, I think it's actually 100% funded by the Chinese. Sure, why not? The director has done some good stuff like Need for Speed. I really like that movie. And Act of Valor, another really good film. He's also doing Expendables 4, so I'm curious what he's going to do next. But this one, the CGI was really wonky, but there was some decent action set pieces. When Jackie Chan was doing his old school like Rush Hour, Rumble in the Bronx, Mr. Nice Guy, when we have those elements, like there's this awesome soap scene, if you want to put it at the very end, the movie shines. But when we're out in the desert with this CGI just landscape, it fails completely so when we're talking about the positives i do think john cena and jackie chan do a solid job with what is given on the screen the person who wrote this also wrote a private war very different films very different films so i'm very curious on how this was written and how the chinese company or the chinese just bought this film because they did film this i think in southwest china like 100 percent film it totally makes sense it's a chinese film through in and throughout, I would say it's about 50% Mandarin, Cantonese, and then 50% English, and a little bit of French and Arabic spattered in between. This is a green screen galore movie, and it completely shows. It is really bad when John Cena is like putting, or sorry, chipping off his pickup truck. You're like, I don't even know if that pickup truck is real. Are you just on a green screen block? It is that, that bad. Uh, but we need to talk about some of the pauses. Like I said, when the action sequences were realistic and actually happening, I enjoyed it. The writing itself was kind of sloppy. There was an old McDonald's song that went on forever, and it felt like it needed to stop 30 to 40 seconds later. Uh, I do also enjoy that there was outtakes in this movie, just like old Jackie Chan movies, especially like, like I said, with the movies he's done, the one where it's like completely going downhill like that Bad Boys 2 kind of copied. Police story. Yes. How do I not know that? And it's just fun to watch those outtakes happen. Anyway, that's really the only positive I could say is when Jackie Chan is doing Jackie Chan, it is really enjoyable. In this buddy cop scenario with John Cena and Jackie Chan, some of it does work, especially with hand signals. I think that was a fun gag throughout the whole film. But like I said, the movie really falters with the CGI-esque elements to it in some of the story. The story is just trash. I wouldn't call it propaganda like 1911, another Jackie Chan movie. Now, since he's kind of in his older age, he's doing more animated movies and these more historical movies. Which is not a historical one, but like I said, so it's up for five years. But just hidden strike doesn't really work there like i said the writing just doesn't suck you in and what more do you want me to say will it have a sequel it wants to have a sequel i don't know what it did in the box office apparently it did pretty solid on netflix doing like 300 and or like 32 hours watched which is pretty good so who knows but if they do a new one Let's make it less CGI. So Hidden Strike will receive a 2 out of 5 blue futons. It goes at 40%. Let's we'll see the critics news scores gave this one. So you have critics a 20% with 15 of them. Audience score 57% with over 250. No critic consensus. And just scrolling down, people are also complaining about the CGI. 
and it just didn't work. And I have to agree. Maybe, and like I said, I think having 13 esque production or producing companies doesn't work at all. 20, 57, 40. Chase Hawk with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, no, thanks, Blue Tonto. If you, Blue Tonto, say, watch a great day. And I don't care what you say tomorrow, week from now, month from now, year from now. I love every single freaking one of you. What's your best Jackie Chan movie? Oof. Mr. Nice Guys is good. I like Rumble in the Bronx. Gotta go some of the old school police story, maybe. Those police stories are freaking fire. <laughs>